Hello guys, I am going to do a tutorial where I do um, Disney ears. Uh, the kind of Disney ears that I'm going to be doing is uh, Cinderella. But you can do whatever character you want. Go on Pinterest, go on Google or any search engine and get like inspirations from like other people who made like Disney ears. Um, so, like, the materials that you need is, like, a needle, of course, uh, some scissors, um, a fabric marker, thread, a headband, Uh, a template where I got this from Pinterest and then I also stole another template from a youtuber and then I got um, these color felt this like periwinkle color a light blue color and a neon blue color and uh, lastly, you need foam board and some uh, pillow fluff, like stuffing. So get your template, cut it out, and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, so grab your ear cutting line template. Place it on your color, the base color that you're going to use, and trace it with your fabric marker. And you're going to do this time for the second ear. Now that you uh, trace that, go take your ear sewing line template, place it in the middle, and trace that on both circles. After that, cut these out with scissors. I'm not going to show this step because you should know how to cut with scissors. And cut the outside part of the ear, not the inside, because the inside is the sewing line. Okay, I am extremely sorry if I haven't list this, but you also need some pins. Because right after you're done cutting the two ears off, and this is making one ear only, you are going to pin it just a little over the sew line. See where the sew line is? Just a little bit. Right next to that so when you're sewing you won't get to like get in the way where you're sewing after you're done pinning thread your needle create a knot And depending on the size of your needle, you can make as many knots as you need to keep your needle in place. 
I need about three or four nuts. And then begin sewing on the line, the inner line that you made. But don't sew this down this curved part because you're gonna need that to stuff the foam and the um, pillow stuffing. Right after you're done sewing, uh, turn your thing inside out. I already did, and then you repeat this step, the whole thing, as in cutting and then sewing and turning it inside out one more time because you need two ears and then I'll show you later okay so after that you go grab your foam and batting template and trace it and do this three times. Once you cut out the four uh, foam pieces, the three ones, try to um, fit them inside your sewn ear. Uh, I actually had to trim it up a bit and I still had to trim it because some of it is coming off on the edge but right after you're done trying to fit it in you put this into both sides this pillow stuffing both sides this side and this side so it can look like this you sew it with a I think it's called ladder stitch while you go inside and then inside the different ways and then I uh, you basically have your ears So right after you're done sewing your ears you're almost done all you have to do is make a symbol of like a felt or you find any like charm or uh, anything really to fit the character you're doing. Since I'm doing Cinderella, I made a slipper. So I'm going to paste it on the ear. And then you would need your headband. So you have to measure where your ear is. See about your ear is right there. Not there. With your charm. It could be on left or right ear. It doesn't matter. And then you're going to make a bow. You can make any kind of style bow that you want. I just made this simple bow. And place it in the middle. So all you have to do is uh, glue it together. And then you are done. I hope you liked this uh, video, and uh, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you want more uh, videos like these, where I teach you how to do a certain character, just post in the comments below. Uh, I can do um, requests. So, yeah. Uh, have a magical day, guys, because you deserve it.